I have a mortgage. I got a two hundred and fifty dollar loan, and we pay seventeen hundred a month. Okay, let me work with you here. So we've got a mortgage of what? It's two hundred and fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand at what interest rate? Three point two five. Three point two five. All right. And so your principal and interest payment, because that's all we're going to deal with, not the taxes and insurance. Your principal and interest payment is right around $1,088.02. Okay. Yes. Principal and interest. Okay. We're ready for your question. Okay. So how you was breaking it down was you just paying like you said, just pay the principal and not the interest, right? I am so glad you asked this question. All right. Because it's basic to what everybody needs to know, but we're not taught in school. Bless. Right. Let me ask you, did you get any of this about what we're talking about in school? No, not at all. Let me ask you, since you've been in this room, if this was taught to you in high school, do you think you could have absorbed this information? You, you, yes. So we should be teaching this in high school. We should be teaching this in junior high. Yes. Also, my realtor, she should have knew this information. You would think they would teach it in real estate school, but they don't. Mm, At all. Not at all. So what's going on here? Folks, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I am just telling you how business actually works. And I'm going to break this down. This is the first time I've ever said this in this show. Okay. Business is business. Right. I don't fault the banks. I don't. I love the banks. I love what they can do for me. They've got all the money I need to invest and make more money. But listen, I've learned how to borrow their money at 75% off. Interest is nothing more than rent. Rent on your money. We have learned to go from renting an apartment or renting a house to renting our money our entire lives. So here's what they have. They have a product. They want to rent it for as much as they can, for as long as they can. Business is business. So if they can keep that information close to their vest and not even teach it to their own employees, then they're going to make a lot more money, aren't they? Yeah. Well, so is it the bank's job to educate you on how to save money? No. No, it is not. So we can't blame the banks for that. Yeah, because they got to stay in business. They got to stay in business. Well, shoot, we have a family to take care of and we have generational wealth to create, don't we? Yes. All right. So we've got the business over here and we've got the educated consumer over here. Both sides can win. We don't have to have a winner and a loser. Let's have two winners. What do you say? Yes. All right. Now go ahead and ask your question about your loan. What do you want to know about it? I want to know, like, what's a a decent amount I should put down on my uh, principal? Okay. Let me talk to you about what's really going on here, Ms. Bless. Okay. Okay? So we're going to talk about four things you need to do in your finances. All right, folks, if you're taking notes, you need to write this down. Here's your four things. Thing number one, okay? Okay. Live an enhanced lifestyle. Live a great lifestyle. Have some fun. Miss Bless, do you like working just to pay bills? No. Do you want to have a little fun in life? Yes. All right. So let's figure out how much you can put into your budget to spend on some fun to create memories for your family. How about that? Okay. That's number one. Number two, you need to put money away for savings. Work with your financial planner or whoever you're working with to figure out how much you should, out of your income, you should be saving for your kid's college, for retirement, and those sort of things. So number one, live a great lifestyle. Number two, put away money for savings. Great. So far, so good? Yes. Number three, you need to pay the minimum payments on your loans, at least. Pay the minimum payments, okay? Because if you don't, they're going to come and start taking away stuff, right? Miss Blessed? Yes. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) we don't want that to happen. All right. So pay the minimum payments. Then number four, here it goes. Here's number four. Make sure all the rest of the bills are paid, like the telephone, the electricity, being able to buy food, all the regular budgetary items that we need to take care of. Make sure that all of those are taken care of. All right, Miss Bless. So that's everything, isn't it? Yes. 
So after we do that, then there's some money left over, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Let's figure out all that money that's left over because our lifestyle is taken care of. All right. Our savings is taken care of. Making our loan payments is taken care of and paying the rest of the bills is taken care of. Let's take a look at the little bit of money that's over. So most people look at that and says, Don, what can I do with this little bit of money that's left over? Yeah. It's not making a dent in what I owe. Well, folks, stop looking at what you owe and look at how much it costs to manage what you owe. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. But Don has some valuable information that can contribute to the quality of a person's life. And it only costs you a few dollars. He says, it's his book. Why not get that? I'm going to go through the pill method myself with some of my investment properties. So I'm going to link up with uh, uh, Don and then I'm going to sit down with him, show him my investment portfolio and see how I can eliminate interest.